to get a sense of what might happen if the North American Free Trade Agreement goes away, look at what happened last year when the group of growers in Mexico slowed down the supply of Haas avocados to the U.S. market. This one's still pretty hard. In October, KPBS reporter Jean Guerrero talked to Ponce's restaurant director of operations, Mickey Nab, a week after his supply of Mexican avocados briefly dried up. As soon as you see people, you have to let them know because half of our menu has guacamole or avocado listed as an ingredient in something. Avocados have become so popular so quickly that it's hard to remember that for most Americans, avocados have been a staple for less than 20 years. Californians have always loved them, but it took NAFTA to generate the volume that brought them to most places in America. Avocados from Mexico. The Texas-based trade group Avocados from Mexico has sponsored Super Bowl ads like this, this one from Scott 2016. Mayo. But most amazing of all are the avocados from Mexico. They're always in season, so you can enjoy them all year long. By 2014, Avocados from Mexico says Americans were consuming 1.7 million pounds of avocados, more than double the amount eaten in 1997. To fill the guacamole gap, Americans now import 60% of their avocados from Mexico. Before NAFTA went into effect in 1994, the amount coming from Mexico was literally zero. The U.S. banned all imports of Mexican avocados. Even minor disruptions in supply can cause public outcry. Remember the satirical meme that followed Obama through his presidency? A 30 rack of Coors Light is $23 now at Sunstop. Thanks, Obama. Around the time of the Super Bowl, Twitter started using the same meme to blame President Trump for the rising price of avocados. Prices were just starting to come down when people were preparing their guacamole for the Super Bowl. If you look at the screen, look at nose complaint. Avocados from Mexico are going to cost you an arm and a leg now. Thanks, Trump. Down here at Mark's a Million, too bad none of us will be able to eat avocados from Mexico again. Thanks, Trump. Just to be clear, President Trump hasn't done anything to NAFTA just yet. Though the outcry should give the White House something to think about as they look at making changes that could impact consumer prices. Mexican avocados aren't likely to disappear from American shelves. Trade between the two countries would still be governed by the World Trade Organization. Prices are likely to rise as old duties on imported produce, which aren't allowed under NAFTA, begin to reappear. The U.S. sold $17.7 billion in farm products to Mexico. It's our largest export market for apples, pears, and corn. That integration means Mexico can also retaliate if the U.S. imposes new taxes. The relationship in between the U.S. and uh, Mexico. Mexican Senator Armando Rios Peter spoke recently at UC San Diego. The senator has a bill that would encourage Mexico to buy corn from places other than the U.S., a move that would hurt farmers in the Midwest. Is there a tangible fear in Mexico at this point that um, you could be throwing out the... Well, there's a lot of uncertainty. Uh, the main thing, one of the pillars of NAFTA was uh, uncertainty, and now there is a uh, lack of it because you have a president here that uses Twitter to, to keep on uh, generating stability to NAFTA and to the relationship Mexico-U.S. Aside from the president's tweets, congressional Republicans are looking at cutting the tax on exports and imposing a 20 percent tax on imports, dubbed the border adjustment tax. Trump campaigned on a straight up 35 percent tariff on goods coming out of Mexico. Now let's get to work. Secretary of Commerce Wilbur Ross said he plans to fix NAFTA to make it a fair deal, not just a trade deal. At the moment, we don't exactly know how any of those ideas will play out. Steve Walsh, KPBS News.